Hello, Mr. Barton here, and in this video we're going to look at the role of the teacher when students are giving their responses. And the teacher plays a fundamentally important role when collecting in the data given by students. So, I'm going to assume that you've asked a diagnostic question, perhaps this one here, and the kids have voted like we looked at in the previous video. One for A, two for B, three for C, four for D. And there's your students' responses. We can see each of the circles represents the different ways your students may have voted with their fingers. Okay. Now, what the teacher does then, and this is just my way of doing it, is I always start with A, then B, then C, then D, and then kids don't start to think, oh, he's always start with the wrong answer or the right answer or whatever. And I ask for a volunteer of a child who's answered A, or maybe I'll pick a child in particular, and I'll say, can you give me your reason? Why do you think the answer's A? And as a teacher, my only role is to make sure the rest of the kids shut up and are respectful to the child who's given the answer as A. So, child will explain why they think A, and I'll say, thank you very much. I'll then say, right, someone who's picked B, can you explain to me why you think the answer to that question is B? And again, my only job is to make sure the rest of the kids are quiet. Then I'll say, thank you very much. Then I'll say, what about C? Why do you think the answer C? Now, at this stage, you are going to get kids muttering, flipping heck, I should have picked B, or I want to switch my answer. So just tell them, just sure, she doesn't matter, doesn't matter about that. We're going to have a chance to revote and all that kind of stuff in a minute. You've just got to be respectful and listen to everybody's answers. And then I'll say the same to D. Why do you think the answer is D? Can you give me a reason? At the end of that, what I will do, and again, this is just my way of doing it, is I will then ask the kids to revote on that question. Now, 99% of the time, they will go for the correct answer. And this works very well, no matter how big the class is. I did this with a class of 200 in Cambodia. Couldn't understand the word I'm saying. Went really, really, really well. So I get them to revote, and 99% of the time, they get the correct answer. But I know what you're thinking. Of course, they're going to get the flipping correct answer because they're just gonna copy the cleverest kid in the class or whatever. So then what I do is I pick another question from my diagnostic questions website, and there's tens of thousands on there that test the exact same skill, and I ask them that question as well. And it will be based on the answers that they give to that second question that will determine where I go with the rest of the lesson. And that is what we're gonna look at in the next video. Okay, hope that was useful. Bye for now.